How are you doing everybody? Uh, week 8 of our current Pilates block. Hope everybody's keeping well and enjoying all that good weather outside that uh, we've been having over the last few weeks. Uh, hopefully we'll get through your joint last week and get through a couple of those exercises. Some will be a wee bit harder that, than others. But we're trying to work the body a wee bit. If we stay sort of stagnant in the easier levels that we were doing maybe the first couple of weeks, then we're not going to feel that progression as, as we go through as well. So again, same layout as we have today. We're going to use our cushion for our bit of balance work. We have our prop for a wee bit of uh, help us with a wee bit of alignment in some of our exercises as well. Everything that we're doing, you're trying to do them at your own level. If at any stage that you feel that you have that wee bit of, sort of you need a wee bit of rest, feel free to take it. If you need it, bring it down to the lower level that's offered, feel free to do that as well. Okay? So from that we'll just get ourselves going. So lay yourself down onto your back. And then just pick the knees in line and then lower back onto the floor and then just placing that imaginary apple between our chin and our chest. And then hands out to the side, we're going to rock our knees from side to side for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then hugging the knees into the chest, circle the lower back into the floor. Just trying to release all that tension. Now we've been doing a lot of sitting during the week. And then opposite direction to so again, especially important to release that lower back. And then head and shoulders off the floor, hug the right knee in, extend the left leg out, and change. And for three, and four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. And then land yourself down, we're going to go straight legs, keep your lower back in contact with the floor, we're going to lift our right leg to the ceiling for six. And five, keep this lower leg to the floor. Four, and three, don't worry about how far you bring it back, just keep that leg straight. And last one, and release. Opposite side then for six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then lower down, roll yourself over onto your side. And then we're going to go into our all our all, all fours. Stepping the hands out, pushing yourself back onto your heels. Inhale forward, back for two, forward, and back for three. Just get that nice wee stretch underneath the armpits as well. And release. And then from here, knees underneath, push the hips again, curl the toes under, walk the hands back, tuck the chin underneath, and then roll yourself all the way back up. Nice deep breath in at the top. Chin the chest, pull that belly up the back towards the spine. Hands coming out over the toes, nice soft bend in the knees. Inhale, and then exhale, straight in the legs, and bring that everything all the way back up. And then from here, just a re rotation of the hips. And then opposite direction. And then just side to side. And then just floating left to right. And then just shake the arms out. Okay? So from here we're going to use both of these for our balance work. We did this in the early weeks. We're going to pass our prop overhead. But again, with this unstable surface underneath, it's going to be going to be a little bit harder. So tighten that belt around your waist. Do the third notch in your belt. And then maybe a little bit further. And then just keeping that good length through the body. Okay? So we're going to start with the prop in our right hand. Left foot comes onto the cushion, and then from here we're going to hover that right foot off the floor, arms out to the side, and then we're going to inhale as we lift up, exhale as we open out. Inhale as we lift, exhale as we open, and lift up. So you might find your foot being pulled one side to the other, just trying to keep everything in line. And lift up, and then one more to the side, and lift up. And then we're going to leave the arms out overhead, extend that front leg, tap for three, and lift. For two, and lift. Last one, and lift. All the way up, and release. And then just roll that out. It's really important to build a little bit of foot strength. You think every time you're contacting the ground, the stronger your foot is, the less chance of sort of affecting something coming up the chain as well. So, opposite side there. This time right foot onto our cushion, prop in our left hand, 
Roll the shoulders back. Hover that left foot off the floor. Hands out to the side. And we're going to inhale to the left. Exhale to open. And for two. And open out. And three. Nice and concentrated. Open out. And four. And open. And reach up. Extend that leg out. Down for three. And lift. Two. And lift. One. And lift. All the way in. And release down. And then just shake that out. And then just settle things to the side. So again, maybe just on that outside of the, of the calf, you may feel that wee bit of a stretch, a wee bit of strength, just trying to keep things nice and loose. So our leg exercise is a wee bit of balance involved in it as well. It's about running man. Basically, so it's brilliant for building up, <coughs> excuse me, strength into our glutes and our hamstrings. A bit of coordination involved with it as well. So we're thinking about basically our hip to lip. So coming to this position, the opposite leg comes back. So once we're trying to touch the floor, the hand that comes down, the leg that goes back is the hand that touches the floor. So if I my right leg back, right leg touches the floor. Okay? So from here, left leg balance, nice and soft knee. And then as we come back, so work on the opposite side. So my right leg goes back. So using that opposite arm as your counterbalance, touching the floor, nice and slowly, bringing yourself back up. So left and right working to keep the balance. Right leg back, right hand touches the floor, all the way back up. Huge amount of core work, needed to control. And down. And back up. And one more to do. Right leg comes back, keep that bend in the leg. Right hand touches the floor, all the way back up. And release down. Okay? So again, more work in that than what you would think. There's a huge amount of control needed around your shampoo. So we're going to go opposite sides of right legs this time. Left leg lifted, right hand from here. So the left leg's going to come back and the left hand's going to touch the floor. So from here then, left leg back, left hand touches the floor for four. I'm always a wee bit less steady on this side for two. So we really have to concentrate to keep that stability. For three. So bring that right arm back with the left leg to form that counterbalance. Last one, hopefully you get there before falling. All the way back up and release. Okay. So with those there, if you need to, if you find that really difficult, even if you just bring your foot to the floor each time to keep steady to rebalance, and then just do it one one step at a time. Okay. Next one then, look, huge amount of work just for around your shoulder hips. You're thinking basically about not how high you lift your leg. It's about keeping your hips in line. So if you think about your two headlights in your neutral spine, headlights are shining forward. So I'm going to go with my left leg at the top first. So laying down with your bicep by your ear, legs are strapped, and you can use your hand just to keep you steady, head down. So we're going to be lifting this top leg up towards the ceiling. So we don't want to go to here where the hips sort of roll, keeping everything nice and steady. So engage this lower side, don't let the stomach touch the floor. Top leg is a height. We're going to inhale, exhale, we're up for six and lower. Five, lower. Four, lower. So, as much as I can, we're trying to keep these hips nice and steady, regardless of the height. And last one, and lower. From here, toe to the ceiling. Four, three, so feel this just along that inside line. Two, and one. And then toe to the floor, heel to the ceiling, up for four. You feel that just into the top of the glute for three, two, and we're going to stay up on the last one. And we're going to go pulse for four, three, two, and one, and all the way down. And then just hold that knee in. Just trying to stretch out that powerful muscle at the top of the glute. And then we go opposite side. So again, keeping everything in line. And again, that pelvic stability to keep everything nice and straight. So, bicep below the ear, head legs facing the front, top leg to hip height, just use your spider fingers to keep you steady. We're going to inhale, exhale, we're up for six, lower, five, and lower. Remember, it's not about how high you can go, so be keeping your strength and stability. Three, two, and 
two, and one, and roll. Toe to the ceiling, heel to the floor, for four, three, two, and one, and lower down. Toe to the floor, heel to the ceiling, for four, end your lower, three, you feel that at the top, just in the hip, and the last one, and then a big pulse for four, three, two, and one, and all the way down. Get up, and then just hug that knee in again, and just sort of push it in, you push up the knee, down toward top, knee towards the floor, and release it. Okay? So, from here before we move, just a wee roll, rock from side to side. Our next one then, we can either stay on our knees, we can stay in a straight arm position, or we can hover the knees towards the floor. So there's three options. So, I'll just show you three options quickly before we go. So option one is from here, drop the knees down, cross the feet over. So hips aren't here, they're not down here, keep that nice strong position. Option two is here, just hold in that position. And then option three, we're going to lower down and lift. So you can see it's only the legs that lower or the bend and straighten. It's not, we're not lifting and lowering the hips, okay? So whichever one's best for you, that's what we're going to go. We'll go for eight hovers and straightens. Okay, so from here then, stepping back with the right, turn the toe under, back with the left. Tuck those to head legs underneath, and then we're going to hover for eight and straight. For seven, straight. Make sure you're not taking more weight on one side than the other. Six, straighten. Five, straighten. Four, straighten. Three, nice and controlled, straighten. Two, straighten out. And one, straighten, hold. Knees to the floor, and all the way back. And then throw your shots up, and then throw the wrist out. And then in there from our next one then, we have a bit of a work for the obliques. So we're basically thinking with this one of your chest bone coming in line with your thigh. It's not, it's not elbow to ear that you sometimes would do in a, in a gym class. It's about getting that really deep control and keeping sort of that nice form of your body, okay? So I'm gonna go to my right leg first, so my chest bone is basically gonna shine up onto my right knee, okay? So if you watch from here, head and shoulders start off the floor. So it's nearly just like a roll across and a roll back, okay? So, you can see lower back basically stays on the floor for the most part. Keep those elbows open and back out. We're going to go six each side. And for five, and back down. For four, and back down. Three, remember keeping those elbows open. Snap the elbow to the knee. Two, and one, last one. And back down, opposite side. For six, and lower, five, and lower, four, and lower. So even that we've got a pelvic work here with our tabletop position, two more. And last one. And then we're gonna go two to the center for two. And then the last one, we're going to hold it, we're going to release the hands, we're going to straighten out the legs, we're going to lift the arms to the ceiling, to the floor, and bring everything back. So that gets everything working here nice and, nice and sharp. And then roll the leg up, roll yourself over, and then bring yourself up. Okay? Folks, next exercise then, we're going to go for a rolling back. So, it's brilliant for our, are we going to sort of, Spinal mobility, a huge amount of core work out. It's very technical, looks sort of sometimes easier than what it actually is. When we're rolling back, I want you to think of it basically just coming halfway up your back between your shoulder blades, as opposed to rolling all the way back and then it's just momentum that brings you up. Also, the positioning of the legs is really important. So don't let the legs kick out. So you have your wee egg between your calf and your hamstring, so you don't want to release it or you don't want to break it. So the leg position is as important as anything. So our setup from here, toes together, heels apart, heels off the floor. Hands from the outside of the knees, 
onto the shins. And I know you get slouched here. So you want to start as tall as you can. So that's your start position and that's your finishing position. Okay? So we'll give you one down or this one, basically we do try try to sort of play about maybe with five or six reps to see if you can bring bring your shaft here. So can maybe get more different. So from here then we're gonna inhale back, exhale as we come forward. And again the position of the legs is the key thing here as opposed to going too far back are going too quickly. And we're going to go for two more. And the last one, we're going to try and stay up in our balanced position. And we're going to try and release the hands out to the side. Back to the center. And release that. Okay? And then just rock the knees from side to side. Folks, that one was too difficult. I'm just going to show you a wee alternative that you can sort of look back on. I'm not going to go through the full cycle. So legs are in the same position, hands are to the side, and we're basically going to roll from our hand to our forearm to our tricep. And it's imagine as if you're really waving to somebody who's opposite you. So from here, legs stay in the same. We're going to inhale back. And then you use your arms basically just to push you back up again. But make sure that there's always Hand, forearm, tricep to hold. And you do get to do that wee bit of uh, oblique work into that as well. Okay? Folks, next one then we did, we've done the side bend now for the last couple of weeks. We're going to try and extend it to full version. So this one is going to take a good bit of upper body strength. If you're not as com comfortable or confident in your upper body work, just go for option two, which I'm going to show you as well. So, option one, we're going to go straight legs. Legs are stacked, but the top leg comes in front. This opposite arm comes out a little bit further, so you're basically forming like an equilateral triangle between your arm and your rib cage, and trying to keep the hips towards the front. So imagine like a hoop connected to the hip. Already I'm feeling this, we've got to work just in that lower leg. So, arm comes across, we're going to inhale, and the hook's going to lift the hips up to the ceiling. Inhale from here, and then exhale as we reach out. And then we're going to hover down, we're not going to drop the hips, and we're going to reach up. Okay, option two, just the one that we've done, we're going to go bent arm, bent legs. So from here then, we're going to inhale and then exhale as we reach across. Hover down and hold and back across. Okay, so we're only going to go for four each. If you're going for whichever one we're doing, we're going to hover and hold. So trying to be nice and strong through that arm. So two things again, straight arm, straight legs, bent arm, bent legs. Okay. So up nice and tall, nice and lifted, and we're going to inhale, exhale, we're going to reach for four, and hover out. Feel that huge work. For three, and hover and hold, and two, and hover and hold. Last one, and we're coming down for three, two, and one. Okay? So I always feel that more into the place, maybe some, some people feel it in the shoulder of their arms, but a brilliant, brilliant exercise for building all over strength in the upper body. So, opposite side again then, whichever option you're going for, starting off, fingers pointed away, top leg in front, rolling the hips forward, and we're going to inhale, exhale for four, hover down, for three, hover down, reach as far across as you can, Two, hover and hold, and one, and then we're coming down for three, two, and one, and then bring that up. So folks, we did four, four reps of that one there, even if you want to try one, or whatever, just to try and sort of build things up. And then a huge, huge amount of shoulder stabilizers, we're with eight now. So again, we should be able to try and progress things uh, on as we go, get a bit more into our repertoire. Next one then, we're going to go with our 100, which we did last week. Two options again, legs and tabletop, or the legs extended. And then, on our last, maybe two, we're going to lower the legs on the inhale, lift them up on the exhale. Okay? So, starting with So Everybody starts on tabletop. If you want to do progression, bring that one in whenever we're at it. Opposite leg. And extend out, so the legs, hips in line with the knees, heels in line with the knees also. From here, so extend, pull the stomach back towards the spine, 
reaching down, we're going to inhale for five and exhale for five minutes. Keep those collarbones open. We're going to want to scrunch from here, bring the tension into the neck. Exhale, if you want to wave it forward, extend the legs, bring yourself up a wee bit further. Exhale, inhale for four. Exhale, inhale for five. And exhale for five beats. Inhale for five beats. Exhale for five beats. Four more to do. Inhale five. Exhale five. Inhale five. Exhale five. Inhale five. Exhale five. Last two. Inhale five. Lower the legs if you can. Exhale as lift. Last one. Inhale five. Exhale five. Hold. We it further up. Legs to the tabletop. All the way down. Well done. Huge amount of work for your center there. Well done. Just stretching everything overhead. And then knees to me. And then bring yourself up. Okay. Last one then, folks, for today. We're going to leave it work just for our obliques again. We did this one a few weeks ago. We're hinging back. So we're not curled under. You're thinking basically about your head lifted up towards that angle in the roof. And then we're going to tap out to the side just with your wee finger, okay? To make sure you've no obstacles in the way. So, legs are straight, chest up nice and tall as if you're staying right up in the center of the body. And then from here, just lift this up a little bit further. And then from here, we're going to hinge back. I'm going to go to the right first, so left arm stays. Follow the hand out for five. And back in. We're going to stay at the same side. We're going to build it up to five this way. For four. And back in. For three. Back in. It's nearly as if somebody's pushing your lower back up towards the side of the wall. So you keep everything in mind. And back in. So don't let the shell fall in here. If you find that's happening, don't lean back as far. For five. And back in. For four. Back in, three, and back in, really work for the lower back, two, and back, last one, and back, and then bring this up, okay? So from your shoulders and feet together, bring your hands over your knees, and just let the knees fall out to the side, so we butterfly, and then just lean yourself forward, elbows out over the knees, and then lean your hands forward with your feet. And then bring yourself up, and then just re-rock the knees from side to side. Okay? And then just as we come up, just to re-float over to the right, left arm comes over our head, and then opposite side. And then back, and then just to re-float. And then reaching up to the ceiling, just to re lean back. And release, and then shake the wrist out. Okay, everybody, that's our week eight done. We're going well. Hopefully, uh, people are enjoying the, the, set, the weekly sessions. A nice week time, even if all it does is give your head a wee bit of a break from everything else that's going on during the week. It has done its job, and obviously, with Pilates being a mind and body exercise, that's not the purpose. Not always what you do with your body, it's about sometimes from the shoulders up. Okay. So, fan like slam and in the shotgun yet, I'll just chase me around and chop and chop each Stay safe during the week and I'll see you next week. My shit.